So today I've been a busy boy. My latest invention. So basically what I've got here is a bronze pump. So um, it's an old one I picked up off of a job. Actually it's in quite good condition. Um, and it comes into Chemco magnetic filter which uh, then goes through the pond filter so this is an activated carbon pond filter then it goes through a water meter so I can measure the amount of water passed and then it goes through my deioniser and back off down that pipe and back off here so Basically we have uh, feed in off of the heating system, feed back out to the heating system and this could go on the return of the heating system on close coupled T's or could go across here so if you're not running the boiler you could put it across. I'm going to do a bit of wiring so a little bit later. Um, this is going to be wired to a pipe stat so that when it's on if the uh, feed water to the system is going to be over 50 it'll switch this pump off. Um, I might have to fit some kind of um, non-return valve or something as well to stop flow. Oh, I forgot to put the drain cock in. I was waiting for my drain cock. Um, yeah, to stop induced flow through it. Close couple T's, of course, uh, won't be a problem. But if I put it across the flow and return, um, and I was using the boiler pump, for example, that could induce flow through there, which I wouldn't want. Um, so pipe stat. Um, basically you would switch it off if either return water is getting too hot or flow water if I've got it across the flow and return. So uh, anyway, the idea is that I can do like a quick mains flush, get the worst of the muck out of a system and then just leave this, leave this on the job and uh, just let it do its trick, just gradually filter the system water, deionize it and basically leave me VDI compliant. Uh, might need a little bit of treatment there, might need to adjust the pH a little bit to, to get my VDI. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll give it a go, see how it comes out.